Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a decently big eBay LPS haul. So let's get into it. Woo! So this video is going to be broken into two parts. First part is all of the old LPS that I got off eBay recently. And then the second part is going to be the new LPS that I got for my birthday. So yeah, let's do the old LPS first. Okay, so the first LPS I will be showing you is this pink Persian kitty that I got off of eBay. Now, you may have seen her if you watched my MEP part for The Greatest Showman. This is me. I used her as my Kiala or the bearded lady. Um, yeah, I just used her in one of my recent videos because I think she is so pretty. I feel like Persians are a very underrated LPS and that not a lot of LPS tubers use them or photographers use them. But I think they're really cute and I think this one is really pretty. So yeah. The next LPS that I got was actually in the same set. And that is this kitty right here. And um, in my opinion, the sticker eyes are not my favorite. And this one is pretty dirty. And she definitely needs to be cleaned. But I got her with the other one. And actually a couple others I will be showing you as a set. It was like a lot that I got for a really cheap price and um, so yeah she came along with it and I'm actually kind of happy to have this one because all I can think of is a silly Illuminati cat I don't know if any of you guys have seen those videos with the Illuminati cat but um, they're very funny next up is from the same lot and it's this little purple kitten right here. She is very, very cute, but as you can see, she definitely has chips on the white, which is easily fixed, just with some white paint and cleaning her up. Again, these pets are not in the best condition, but I got them for such a good price that I couldn't help it. And also, once I fix her up, I know she's gonna be even cuter. I love the kittens, and yeah. She's so cute. Next LPS is this kitten right here. And I am so happy to have this one. Again, she came a little dirty. I will be cleaning her and then she'll be perfect. Um, I have really wanted this one for a long, long time. Mainly because she looks so much like this LPS. And I really want to make a video with them together. I just feel like they just look so much alike. They've got their gray cats, they got the eyeliner, the blue eyes. I feel like they could either be siblings or they could be like, this is the younger self, older self. I don't know, I really like these two, especially together, and that's why I've really been wanting this one. And all I gotta do is just clean her up and then she's perfect. Next is this poodle. Now this is one of the really, really old LPS back when they had pink magnets. And uh, while this wasn't one of the LPS that I wanted, it came in a lot that I bought off of eBay and I thought I'd include it in here since, it's, since it is a new LPS. Um, the poodles are cute, but um, they're not exactly my favorite, but I don't mind having them, especially the pink magnet LPS because I love collecting those. So yeah, I think, I think this one will make a nice addition to all my poodles. Next up is this little orange kitten, and I love this one so much. It is authentic, it's got the old pink magnet, it is so adorable. This is, this is one of the ones that I wanted for a really long time. I remember when I collected little pet shops when I was younger, when, back when they sold them in stores, I had a sticker book full of LPS stickers and it was actually like photographs of the LPS as stickers and this was one of them and it's just like the nostalgia of it because I remember having that sticker book but I didn't have this kitten and I just remember thinking it was so cute and now I finally have it and it's so adorable. Next up is this puffin and I really like this LPS. Uh, this one also came in a lot that I bought. Um, so again, I didn't go out of my way to buy the puffin, but it's actually really, really cool. And it actually is 
painted to look like a real life puffin and I think the eye design is really cool as well as the beak design and I feel like you never see the puffin LPS I don't know if it's rare or nobody ever uses it for anything I don't know let me know in the comments is the puffin LPS rare or is it just unused <laughs> Because I feel like the LPS community just uses cats and dogs mostly, but I feel like you see bird LPS sometimes, but you never see the puffins, so let me know. It's very, very cute, and I like it. I think I'm going to be using it in my photography on my Instagram. Next up is this Bull Terrier. This is actually my very first Bull Terrier LPS, and I just never bought one. Um, they're very, very cute and definitely unique in their shape, but they definitely resemble the real life dogs. And this one is really cute. I love the color scheme, very vanilla, white, and the lavender eyes are very cute together. And I just love how big the face is. It's a bit, literally bigger than the body, which I guess is pretty common with LPS, but I don't know. <laughs> it just is so funny to me and it's so cute. And it does have a mark on here that I can't really get off, but I don't know. Kind of looks like Marilyn Monroe right here. It's like got the little, got the little, it's got the little beauty mark going on. So I think it's pretty cute. And next is this short-haired cat, which I'm very, very excited to have. Um, I definitely wanted this one for an extremely long time, and. I just love it so much. It's got the old pink magnet. Um, it's just so pretty and elegant. I love the simple LPS. The ones that actually like resemble real life animals and that are just, they only have a few colors going on. Like, I don't know. I really like the simplistic Littlest Pet Shops. She does have a little mark on her forehead, but I can probably get that off if I work on it, you know, with like acetone. Um, if you guys don't know about that, acetone actually really works to get marks off your LPS. Just make sure you only put it on the base coat paint. So like an LPS like this, you can put acetone on the white, but don't put it on the pink because that'll like wipe off and the eyes will wipe off with acetone. So you have to be really careful. But, anyways, I'm babbling on. I really like this LPS so much. If you guys haven't noticed, I've only recently started using short hair cats, and that is because I have just started collecting them last year. I never collected LPS short hair cats at all until last year. And so I'm slowly building up my collection, and she is just a pretty little addition. And so the last old LPS in this video that I bought is this Cocker Spaniel. And oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so happy to have this Cocker Spaniel. Oh my goodness. It's been one of my dream pets for so long. I have loved her forever and just could never find a affordable one on eBay and it's been driving me crazy but I finally found a decently priced one and just had to get her and she came super fast in the mail and I am so happy to finally have her um yeah I've just loved her ever since I saw her the first time I saw her I was like wow I wish I had that LPS and it's been so many years so many years and I finally have her and I'm so happy also, I want to get you guys' opinions on something real quick. So I know you guys are yelling at me for paper hearts, but look at these two LPS together. I mean, don't they look related? They have the exact same eyes, the exact same fur color combination. I feel like they could be br twin, like twin brother and sister twins. I don't know, I'm thinking of a new series. Obviously, after I finish Paper Hearts completely, I'm gonna do that entire series first. I don't wanna have two series at the same time because then I'd really get nothing done and you guys would just get frustrated waiting. But after Paper Hearts, what do you think? 
some kind of twin series with these two brother and sister i feel like i could do something really cool with it not giving spoilers but you, if you guys have ideas leave them in the comments let me know if you think it's an interesting idea that you would want to see after paper hearts but yeah so just throwing that out there and next so here are all the old lps that i recently got off of ebay i love all of them so so much let me know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite. So those were all the old LPS that I got off of eBay. And now for the second part of my haul, I will be doing the new LPS that I got for my birthday. So the first LPS that I got for my birthday was this beautiful cat. And I really, really like this one. I think she is so elegant and pretty. I really like her body style and her tail is so cute. She has the biggest eyes ever. And she came with a few accessories. She came with this pretty crown that she wears, this throne, and a little teensy kitten. And next up, we have this LPS bear that is so cute. I love this body style so much. I just love how it's sitting and the little hands just look like they're ready to hug somebody and it is so cute. I am loving the new LPS a lot. Obviously, I am definitely loyal to the old LPS, but this new G5 series is really growing on me. So, this mama bear came with a little teeny tiny baby bottle as well as a bear rocking chair that rhymed and a little teensy baby bear the baby bear actually fits in the rocking chair and it does really rock and it is really really cute next up we have this lps elephant that is adorable just saying, I think this elephant base is a lot cuter than the old LPS bases. I don't know, I think it's the trunk. I feel like the old LPS had a really weird trunk. And I think this one is super cute and actually is a trunk instead of just this little thing sticking out of its face. And I don't know, it looks so happy. And she came along with a little basket, a hat, a circus peanut, or just a peanut in general, and a little pink baby elephant. And next we have this gorgeous, very pastel purple swan. I don't know if you can tell in the camera that it is actually purple or if it just looks white, but trust me, the, she is like the lightest purple shade ever and it is so pretty and dainty and I think this one is really really cute I just like I said I love these new styles for the LPS I think they've really improved since the G3s and G4s this LPS came with a yellow hat a bird's nest and a little purple baby bird I really think these sets are fun because they give you accessories for big LPS and the teensy LPS. So whichever you prefer to collect, you get an LPS of that style and an accessory that goes with both styles. And I think that that's really fun. And last but not least, I got this puppy dog. This dog is actually a Weimaraner. That's the breed of dog it is. And I've always thought that this breed in real life was so pretty they have the shiniest coats ever and when i saw this lps it was just too too cute i don't know what it is i think it's the eyes and this little face it just has total puppy dog eyes and this lps came with a cute mailbox a little hat to wear and a little teensy puppy. 
and also some mail. I feel like these new sets are taking me back to the old days when the packaging had themes and each LPS had certain like themes like it would be cooking or carrying set and like I love how these are like a male set, a princess set, circus set and I just think it's so so cute to see that they're actual sets now instead of just selling just an LPS in a box by itself. Here are all my new LPS that I got for my birthday that are in the G5 series together. All in all, I really love each and every one of them. I'm very happy to have all of them, and I hope you guys like them. Let me know which of these ones are your favorites. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked seeing all the new LPS. Um, I don't do haul videos too much, but if you like them, let me know down in the comments. Also, I want to thank you all so much for all of the support on my new series, Paper Hearts. It's very exciting for me to make. I'm so glad that you guys are excited for this. And again, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know down in the comments which LPS is your favorite. And I'll be responding to all the comments I possibly can. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys!